Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is April 15th, and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. California, Hawaiian Islands bottom left. Check out all this cold air spilling out over the Pacific Ocean here. Eventually going to lead to a frontal system moving through central and northern California. We'll take a look at those details. We'll take a look at the extended forecast as well and see if there's any warm-up in store here, which is really the biggest threat to much of the state with all that snowpack across the higher terrain. We're already dealing with flooding conditions and any kind of rapid warm-up, of course, would just exacerbate those flooding threats. Now looking at this, this is the home weather station I've been pushing here for the last few weeks. Extremely accurate, stores all your data for you online. I'm very impressed with this station. If you want 10% off, click on the link below in the description. Now looking at the drought monitor here, you just got to admire this. We were in some exceptional and extreme drought across much of the state and we have really erased that. We don't even have any severe drought left over here. So again, very good news here for the state of California. This is looking at the snowpack and you can see California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, portions of Colorado, New Mexico, all doing quite well with that snowpack here. So good news on that front. And this is looking at snow water content percent of normal. This is for the Northern Sierra, Central and Southern Sierra. So you can see we're starting to now start to melt at this snowpack a little bit here, but we're still well above that 82 to 83 average for a lot of the Southern Sierra Nevada here. And you can see in the average years, we start to melt that pretty quickly there towards the end of April and then May is a big melt month there. So hopefully we don't keep things cool and then go through a really rapid melt in May. That's kind of the biggest threat right now. Uh, the only thing that would be worse is if you combine some kind of huge precipitation event with it, like an atmospheric river. This is looking at that snow water equivalent in inches, 91 stations reporting about right about five feet average across the region here. So doing quite well. This is high temperatures across some of the desert areas here, like at Joshua Tree 71, not too bad out there. Phoenix, a nice comfortable 85, relatively speaking. This is looking at that rain forecast coming up here. So here we go. Snow levels, you can see lowering to two to 3,500 uh, feet there, Tuesday and Wednesday. And you can see some of the higher amounts further you go north here, but the Bay Area could get some precipitation out of this as well. And the Sierra Nevada is also gonna get some snow as well as Northern California also. So heads up for that. We are gonna get another round of snow here. Nothing too crazy like what we've been getting uh, the late winter and early spring period though. This is looking at some of those amounts. A National Weather Service, Sacramento shown here. You can see Donner Pass, maybe up to a foot here. Look at Lassen Peak there, up over two feet possible. And this could impact some of the areas of I-5 through the Siskiyou Pass up here, four to six inches. So heads up for that as you go through Monday through Wednesday, minor impacts are possible. And as you may know, Twitter is reducing the automated tweets going out. So have other ways to get warnings. I used to use that quite a bit here, so I'm not too thrilled about seeing that go away but anyway have other ways to get your weather warnings now taking a look here this is the european as of last night you can see that system moving into the pacific northwest here cold air sets up and then starts to bring that frontal system as we go through the day monday here across some of california and then we're going to bring some cooler air across the area that we'll look at here in a moment this is going to tend to one snow ratio this one goes all through thursday night and you can see not bad so in the higher terrain getting another round of snowfall here so you know, I guess we just take it as we go here, but you know, at least we're not getting too extreme of amounts and at least we're not dealing with big time atmospheric rivers or anything of that nature. Now looking here, this is the European on the left. We got the GFS on the right, California, Hawaii, Pacific Ocean. We're looking at 5,000 feet and you can see the bit of a warm up we had in front of this system here. And then the cool air settles down across the state, much of the West Coast of North America. Good agreement between the GFS and the European on the left. This would be about Tuesday afternoon across the state. You can clearly see we're going to be below average here for a while. But then you can see the model start to hint some of the warm up here as we go through the extended. You can see kind of showing that a little bit here, but then as you go out a little bit further, the European wants to keep this warmth around here to, uh, as you go through the extended. We're looking way out here towards the end of April, but there is a signal out there, as you can see, for some warmer than normal conditions across much of the West Coast here. So we'll see if our pattern flip-flops here, but right now we're just kind of looking in the tea leaves and just kind of see what's out there. We have plenty of time to watch this situation unfold. This is looking at current reservoir conditions. You can see most of them are at their historical average or better. Shaft at 91% of the actual reservoir capacity. So doing very well there. I've been talking about this for a few days also. So anybody who has not seen this, we are likely headed towards El Nino, possibly moderate or strong. We don't know quite yet, but the odds are that we are headed towards an El Nino. Look at this, almost 90% by the time we get towards December here. Very slim odds for La Nina or neutral conditions at this point. And this is looking at the sea surface temperature map. Here we are through February. 
cooler water across the equatorial Pacific. You can see it being replaced by that warm water here, building up on the coast of South America, then extending its tongue out across the equatorial Pacific. And that is classic transition from La Nina to El Nino. Pretty rapid transition occurring right now. And we'll watch that as we go. And we'll also talk more about what we can expect across the state during those El Nino years. In fact, I do have an educational video too, if you want to check that out. It's in the educational playlist here. I did that, I believe, a couple months ago here. Talked about what we can expect across a lot of the West Coast of North America when El Nino sets up. So anyway, yeah, this is going to be the next weather driver here across a lot of the state of California here. We'll watch this as we go, and I may not update every day here for the state of California, but we will watch that system unfold here towards the end of the month as well. Are we going to warm up or are we going to remain cool through April here? We'll find that out. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. I will talk to you guys either tomorrow or the next day, and I'll see you then.